Getting you ready for the Halloween season and getting me ready to scream and have a heart attack because we know Kristen doesn't scream. She doesn't get scared and phased of anything. If you're watching this on YouTube, you will get a cut down version of our reactions. We can only show you a limited amount of picture in picture of the film. But if you want to watch the whole thing with us without any cuts or interruptions, please head on over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash jabbykuwe or become a member of this channel. You will get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own copy of the film so you can sync up with us. But don't worry, we make it really easy for you. For those of you watching on Patreon or Membership Sorry, we thank you so much for your kindness and support. You guys are truly the best. And for those of you watching on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and smash the like button so you can let us know you're enjoying what you're watching. All right, let's get into it. Get into Carrie! Shoot, blow it! Don't blow it! Carrie, hit it! Oh, Carrie! Oh, poor Carrie. Oh, she's the recluse. Ah, that's not nice. No. She's really enjoying that shower. We were uh, really focusing on body parts here. <laughs> this is supposed to be a horror film, right? Correct. Well, it doesn't look like one. I'm sure it's going to change at some point soon. And she drops the soap. Isn't that bad? Oh, is no. it bad luck when you yeah, drop the soap? Yeah, it's bad. Oh, no. Ah. What? Oh, her what? period started. Oh, okay. It might be her first time, maybe. Maybe it's maybe she cut her hand with the soap? Yeah, okay. So it looks like maybe she just cut her hand. It's not her period. How do you cut your hand with the soap? Yeah, I think someone put something. Help me, help me. Yeah, okay, somebody put like something in the soap. Oh, okay, poor baby. It was her period. What are you doing? She just got her period. She just got her period. What are you doing? Stop. Listen to me. Jeez. Slap for the comer now? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Come on, come on, grow up, stand up and take care of yourself, come on, do it, do it, do it! Whoa! Ah. Oh, wow. No! Oh. She's just scared. Get out of here. If you don't know, because like back then, like, you know, they weren't, they, sex education and stuff wasn't okay. a real thing. I know that Carrie is viewed as the evil one here, but I don't know, these other girls yeah. are kind of the evil ones They're to all me evil. So, far, so far. I'm sorry. Baby, come on now. Don't you know? Nope. Listen, listen. I'm going to talk to you about it now, okay? Can you just calm down? Okay? Just relax. See, they're all gone. So there's something more to carry. Poor girl. I really feel bad for her. Yeah, I do too. There's something more to her story, though. She might come from, like, an abusive home or something, too, maybe. Isn't she a bit old for her first period? Her first period. I was old, too, for mine. I have no idea what the age is supposed to be. I wouldn't even Normally, girls get it from like anywhere from like 10, 9, 10, or whatever. I got mine real late. Mm. I was like almost 18. <laughs> Miss Finch, would you uh, bring in a dismissal slip? You thought you might take the rest of the day and go home. Take care of yourself, Cassie. Oh my. Carrie. Four times he told her the name was. Very sorry about this incident. Carrie. Oh, she's got powers. Yeah. Remember when we saw the light yep. go out? And Carrie, you're dismissed from gym for a week. Just take study haunts then, okay? Well, sorry about this incident, Cassie. It's Carrie! Let's keep butchering the name so many times in a matter of moments. Mm -hmm. Creepy Carrie! Creepy Carrie! <laughs> Creepy Carrie? Is that what he said? Oh. Creepy Carrie. I'm pretty sure everyone in this movie, aside from Carrie, is a piece of crap so far. So maybe she's like a witch or something. She has powers. There's some. She has some kind of. Because they said something weird about the I don't know, mom. I don't know which, but she's got some kind of supernatural ability. Mm -hmm. Y'all woman now. Okay. Why didn't you tell me, Mama? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, God. And God made Eve from the rib of Adam. And the raven was called Sin. The raven was called Sin. <laughs> Ooh, woman. Yep. And the raven was Excuse called you. Sin. And first sin was intercourse. Oh my gosh. Just like that. Oh Lord, help 
let the sinning woman see the sin of her days and ways. Show her that if she had remained sinless, the curse of blood would never have come on her. What? She may have been tempted by the Antichrist. She may have committed the sin of lustful thoughts. This what? Okay, this woman has lost her damn mind. Okay, so I was right. She does come from abusive family. But what's crazy is she's taking worship way out of context. I mean, this was the second person, and this was a person child. I mean, God got pain and sweat and blood. Ten of the stars extinct. Let me out, Baba! Oh, poor baby. Whoa. That's scary. I'm Father Gordon. That's scary. This woman is like stupid. Some people just take things like and like go to a whole nother level. Like I'm just, I'm just so mad right now. Carrie White, oh beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of gray. <laughs> if you had her life. Did any of you ever stop to think that Carrie White has feelings? No, I guess you're too busy thinking about your dates and the prom. Three days suspension. And refusal of your prom tickets. Damn. I, think I they like des- it. I think they deserve worse than that, but that's I do too. good. I don't think any of you have any idea of just how nasty what you did really was. But the office has decided you're to have one week's detention. He's a righteous dude. It's a Ferris Bueller reference. Punishment for skipping detention no is prom. three days suspension and refusal of your prom tickets. Now change up. There are consequences to being jerks. Mm-hmm. You're really not gonna go. You're gonna miss out on the prom. I'm not coming. I'm gonna miss the prom. Hey. One, two, three, four. I really like her so much better in Robocop. She's a much nicer person. Oh my god, index cards? This is so old school. <laughs> the period's not up, Harginson. It is from me. Keep running! Well, there are ten minutes left. Stick them up your... (laughs) Were you allowed to do that back in the day? Yeah. This isn't over. This isn't over by a long shot. Get out of the prom, Harkinson. You had ten minutes left, and you would have been free. I know back in the 50s, maybe 60s, I know they were allowed to, like, actually physically strike. I didn't know in the 70s it was still a thing. Oh, okay. I didn't didn't realize. My school allowed it. Can I talk to you? All right now. Tell me if I asked you to do something yeah. very special for me, would you do it? Braid my hair. No. I want Ask you Carrie. to take Carrie White to the prom. I know. I was just kidding. Oh. How did I predict that? Oh, my gosh. Young John Travolta. No. Oh, wow. Do you think they're going to do something to teach the PE teacher? Who knows? Ah! Oh, shit. Watch it, you stupid shit! Did you just say pull over? Look what you did! Look out! Whoa! He's literally doing all the do nots when you drive. Stop being such a hurry. Pain right in the ass. You don't mean it. I don't mean it. <laughs> of course you don't know. It's like, I like you. You throw beer on me. You slap me in the face. I want you. Dumb shit. What the? I thought I told you never to call me that. You know, you are totally f- That's it. She's getting slapped a lot in this film. A lot of people are getting slapped a lot in this movie. But yeah, her, her too. What? <laughs> what? Why did she... What? what? It, why would you want someone who slaps you? Toxic relationship. I want you to do something. Something important. Ask Carrie to the prom? Mm-hmm. That's the talent. Carrie White. 
Who? Wait, what did you say about Carrie? She said, I hate Carrie White uh -oh. in the middle of that. He's like, who? They're all obsessed with Carrie. Dude, she's done nothing to them. She's just been literally minding her own business, trying to survive. They're just all awful human beings besides mm -hmm. Carrie. If you don't have a date for the prom next Friday, would you like to go with me? Carrie, let... Go on, practice those drills from yesterday. I'll be right there. I feel like they're gonna do some of the gym teacher. Mm -hmm. I, 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 what happened? Was it one of the girls? She's the only one who's nice to her. Yeah. Did one of the girls do something Aside to you? Aside from the slap yeah. in the shower. Well, she's trying to make her come to No, you. no, no. I, I get that. I get that. Yeah. Hey, Carrie, let's think about this now. I mean, it might be terrific. You might have a really good time. Carrie? She just said he's gonna trick her again. And that's a pretty girl. Look at her eyes. A little mascara to bring it out. Well, what do you want to know? Why Tommy asked her to the prom. Uh, oof. Well, you know, I can make sure that you don't hurt Carrie White anymore. We're oh. not trying to hurt her, Miss Collins. We're trying to help her. How? This is ridiculous. Don't you think you're just going to look a little ridiculous when you walk in the Thank prom you. with Carrie White? We don't care how we look. Clearly. Do we? You guys are such jerks. Dude, leave her alone. Hi, Carrie. Hi. Oh, she's like, no, I'm not good. Why is this so important to you? I don't know. Maybe because um, you like my poem. Good. I'll pick you up at 8 o'clock. Oh, boy, I feel so bad for her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she was a real pig. Will you shut up? Will you let me up here? Will you let me up here? What? You're gonna kill a pig, right? What? You're gonna kill a pig. <laughs> Dear oh. pig. I'm gonna bash your Is little heads wrong? in. Oh, my God. No, I really don't want to see this. Please. Dude, what's wrong with these guys? All right, move it out. Move it out. That's no. it. That's it. Come on. No! These people are awful. I mean, I'm glad they didn't show us, but still, the implication that these people are awful human beings. Harry, you haven't touched your apple cake. It gives me pimples, Mom. It gives pimples. me pimples. Oh, the Lord's way of chastising you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mom, please see that I've got to start to try and get along with people better. When are you going out on the ball, Carrie? I've been invited to the prom. Prom? Is she gonna say no? Please see that I'm not like you, Mom. I'm funny. I mean, all the kids think I'm funny. I don't want to be. I want to be normal. I want to start to try and be a whole person before it's too late for me. Duh. He's a nice boy, Mom. You like him. You really like him, Mama. Blood comes aboard, like sniffing dogs, running and slobbering and trying to find out where that smell comes from. Ah! Uh, what? Tell that boy you're not going or going to move from here. No. Move from here and you'll never see that boy again. Well, I thought, you know, maybe I you mean, should move. I was going to say, that's not a bad thing. No, that's but... not a bad thing. Move. <laughs> This music is so scary. I'm going, Mama. The things are gonna change around here. I want to see her use her powers. Poor Carrie. That's Satan's power. Oh, she just used them. Nothing to do with Satan, Mama. It's me. Me. If I concentrate hard enough, I can move things. Oh, okay, she did just use it. He ended your father and carried him off. You ran away with a woman, Mama. Everybody knows that. You must renounce this power. You must give it up. You must never use it. You can't stop me. Whoa. I don't want to talk about it anymore. She's got a lot of courage. Hurry up. I want to go home. Keep your tits on, and I'll let you pull the rope when the time comes. So they're going to pull that on Carrie at prom? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, God. He's not going to come. She's gonna rip it. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Stop it, Mama! 
What are oh you? my gosh! He's gonna laugh at you. They're all gonna laugh at you. I don't want to stay with you, mommy. Look, I'll answer the door and I'll wow. tell him that you're sick. I'll you're tell him that you changed your mind. Look, sit down. Oh! Just sit there, mama, and don't say a word until I'm gone. That was a continuity, or her head was down yeah. on the pillow, and now she was lifted up. Yeah. She is psycho. I shall not suffer a witch to live. Okay. She's taking uh, religion to the extreme. Yeah. Don't be so nervous. Besides, I'd look awfully stupid dancing by myself, wouldn't I? Now, right, come on. Oh, it's called Bates High School? Wow. <laughs> I did not notice that. That's a nice little uh, Easter egg for Psycho. Could you just sit here for a minute? Oh. Carrie? Hi, Miss Collins. Oh, you look so pretty. You too. You look beautiful. Oh. Thank you. This is just heartbreaking. <laughs> He pretends to be a nice guy really well. Not gonna yeah. lie. I had a date with the uh, the captain of the basketball team, and he was six feet seven inches tall. I went out and bought a pair of three inch spike heels so that our kiss goodnight would be less awkward. <laughs> anyway, we went in his pickup truck, which of course broke down, and we had to get out and walk the last half mile to the prom. So by the time I got there, my feet were so covered with blisters. That oh no. I mean, I couldn't dance. So we just sat there and uh, just talked. You like that for you? It's nice. Just nice. Like being on Mars. Uh, uh, you might have to be home so early. Yeah, I promise. If, you, if you'd like to, we could stop in at the Beehive for a couple of minutes. What's the Beehive? Maybe a diner? I, 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 don't, I don't know. You ready to dance? I don't know how. Oh, she's so sweet and precious. I'm not sure, but the more that it's real. And she said your poem was beautiful. Like, why are you doing this to her, man? Yeah, I don't know if he's I in mean, on it yet. He is. I'm holding out hope that he's not. He is. Why is he so eager to get her to dance, you know? True. Well, it's a part of the experience. You're as good as anyone else, aren't you? <laughs> you got it. First time she feels like she's fitting in. Oh, he just kissed her on the forehead. <laughs> dance. Can't even. I don't know. Oh, wow. I don't think that was a part of. Oh, wow. He's actually I don't guessing. think that was a part of his girlfriend letting him. Kiss her? To, yeah. I don't think that was a part of it. Because I asked you. Why'd you ask me? I'm getting a little dizzy with this shot. This tracking shot's making me dizzy. Take your seats, please, and uh, we've right. got to vote for the king and the queen. Oh. Oh my god. Carrie? You're so beautiful. Hey, you're beautiful. If he's not being sincere, he's doing a really good job. Well, let's vote for ourselves. Oh. Come on. To the devil with false modesty. The no. devil. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where the blood's going to happen? Up at the stage? You guys went through such a big plan to make this girl feel awful. And it's pig's blood. Wow. That's just evil. And disgusting. I've got the winners. All right. I give you Tommy Ross and Carrie White. Yeah! All right, prediction. Is Tommy in on it, yes or no? He's got to be if his girl is. Yeah. Ah, I don't I'm, want him to be in on it, though. I, I'm, I'm with you. He's but got to he's he's be in on it. He's got to be in on it. I'm with you. I don't know why they hate her so much. 
Like, she's not doing anything to them. I get it. She doesn't fit in with them, but... That's fine. Maybe she's not in on it. Because, like, she's smiling right now. She's not in. They're not in on it. They're good. They're good people. Who's not in on it? They're not in on it. Who? You see, like the girl, his girl, him. They're not in on it because she didn't. She didn't know because she felt the tug and she kind of went like this. She's not in on it. See, they're being for real. Really? Yep. Oh, wow. Okay, that got me. I really thought she was in on it. Nope, she's not in on it. Oh, that really got me. Good call by you. I'm genuinely shocked by that. That really got me. I really thought she was in on it. But Carrie's going to think they were in on it. Yep. Yeah, but does he not like Amy Irving? I'm, that's the confusing part to me. I have no idea. Ah. Oh, no. 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 Uh, yeah, he was. It. You were right. You called it. Hug her. Dude, hug her. Yeah, but she's not going to buy it. Oh, damn. Yeah, she's not going to... She's going to think everyone was in on it. They're all going to laugh at you! They're all going to laugh at you! Could you imagine, like, the damage... You do to a person? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ah. Oh my Whoa, god. Dude, her eyes are scary. Oh my god. Oh no, not her! Oh no! She didn't do anything to her. No, that was the nice gym teacher. Oh no. She had to go at default. Ah! Wow. She's like, all you guys can suck it. Oh, boy. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, no. Whoa. Wow. Oh! Damn! Hey, not see that one coming. Jeez. Candles much? She gonna burn the house down? Might. Looks like she was pretty upset. Maybe she put herself in the closet. You know, it's interesting as beautiful as her eyes were earlier in the film they can also be really scary yeah. too yeah that'd be scary to see your kid come home like that though oh she's right there behind the door 
Oh, wow. I didn't even notice. Damn. She's going to lock her in and burn how'd the you, house. How'd you catch that? I didn't even see that. This is the calm after the storm. Not done yet. Her mom's going to try to hurt her. Is the mom still in the same spot? I can't tell anymore. No, she's not there. I think she snapped too, but I don't know. Probably. Hold me, mama. Please hold me. Oh, her mom snapped too. I should have killed myself when he put it in me. After the first time before we were married, Ralph promised never again. But soon never dies. At first, it was all right. We lived sinlessly. And then I saw him looking down at me that way. We got down on our knees to pray for strength. I'll smell the whiskey on his breath. Oh, no. And he took me. He did her dirty. He took me. In the sense of, like, no consent. The stink of the, of the roadhouse whiskey on his breath. And I liked it. Oh. I liked it. Oh. Well, all that dirty touching on his hands up on me all over me. <laughs> she really gives me the heebie-jeebies. Now, the devil has come home. Will you pray? Yes. We'll pray. The devil has come home? So Carrie's the, the devil? Time. For the last time? Oh, she's going to... Uh, I think she's going to do what I think we're, we yep. both think she's going to do. She's going to try to oh, eliminate with, with that knife that she had? Oh, yep. oh God. No! Come on, get... Oh! Are you serious right now? Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, this is just wrong. All right. This is the first time in this movie I've 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 condoned this happening to someone. Oh my god, this poor jeez. Oh, she needed She needed protection. I'm sure in her crazy mind she's probably happy about that. But her body wouldn't be standing up like that. It would have been like... Yeah, it would more like slump or something. Like, yeah. Uh, but either way, imagery is interesting. <laughs> Someone upstairs? I have no idea. Oh, maybe it's her destroying it. Oh, you mean with her powers? Yeah. She did with her powers. Ow. Oh, maybe not. Or maybe. Uh. Oh my goodness. Guess that was foreshadowing. Maybe, yeah, maybe that thing was like an evil thing. Oh boy. Did everyone else in the gymnasium, like everyone else, pass? Mm hmm. Because I know it got set ablaze, but I don't know if there were any survivors, like maybe Tommy. Oh, Betty, thank God it's you. She's better. Well, uh, sleeping too much, I guess, but Dr. Schneider said that's to be expected. Betty after White? She's been through. Was that her mom's name? No. Who's Betty? I think the woman that's calling. No, 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 no. I, 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 somebody else. I know Carrie. Tommy and all the others gone. Yeah, Tommy did pass. That's that she's young enough to forget. For sale. Is anyone gonna buy that proper or that land? This is burning hell. Boy. Carrie burning like, are you kidding me? Even when she's gone, she's still being Carrie White. Burns in hell. Like, are you serious? 
Ah! Scared the crap out of me. Ah! <laughs> that was, okay. That was the scariest thing in this whole movie. Oh, by far. Yeah, there weren't really many jump scares in this one, but that got me. <laughs> yeah, for any of you accusing us of having seen this movie, you, you know we can't fake that. Uh, oh, I'm, that I'm, sh I'm sure that got my, all the people in the theater. <laughs> that was messed up. Oh my goodness. Ah! 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 Okay, it wasn't that scary. It was eerie. <laughs> Yeah. Um, that end part was the scariest thing in the whole film. Oh my god! By far, it really. Got I me. feel so bad for this girl. Like all she wanted to do was like be accepted. She was being abused at home, mm -hmm. being abused at home, and then it got to the point where she just snapped and needed her vengeance. But the saddest part is, her mo like her own mother tried to delete her, mm -hmm. and she had to come in. Even after she, you know, she was, she was, it was self-defense. Mm -hmm. I don't think she really wanted to do that to of her mother not, at the end. No. You know, because at the end, like, she still tried to, like, pull her in and, like, save her. And it's like, all she said was, hold me, just hold me. Like, oh, for a child yeah. to go through all of that constantly, like, the beating, the mental abuse, physical abuse. Yeah. And then, like, all she needs is, like, she, all she wanted was to be comforted. You know, comforted and yeah. like loved and like accepted, and I think it's sad because these stories like this, not to this extreme, well, some, like, there are real stories out there like this. Mm -hmm. There are people out there who are bullied at home and in school, and mm -hmm. then they snap and then they do things that, you know, they don't want to do. And I personally don't understand why people can't just let those exist in the same realm as them mm -hmm. just because you're different, you know. And I think the mother. Let me tell you something about that Bible. Okay, this woman needs to reread it, and because she's like, there's people who take they take these things too far, and like, they're not really reading to comprehend, or if they are reading, they're not comprehending. And for the record, the Bible is not there, and religion, okay, in general, the Bible and religion, I, I stand by this, something I always preach, is not there to damn you. It's there to give you something that when you have done the worst possible, it is that place that, that one place that gives you redemption. It's supposed to uplift you. It's supposed to give you love and hope and give you something to look forward to. And a lot of people use it to damn or shame you. And that's why a lot of people have like a bad taste in their mouth for it. it it's, it's, all, it's all about the love. Yeah. It's all about the redemption and the forgiveness. And um, unfortunately, her mother missed the plot there. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> as someone who, at least in middle school, I was, uh, I was physically, and I was verbally abused and bullied. Whoa. So yeah, no. My I, best friend. Yes, who? Yes, I was. Who? Um, uh, I know exactly what Carrie was going through, and I can totally relate. And that's why I was, even if I hadn't gone through that, I still would have backed her. And, yeah. Like, I don't know what goes, and I get it. Kids will do kid things I get it um, but I don't know what goes through the mind of people who bully I just think it's an awful thing uh, hurt no people matter hurt no, people yeah no matter what age people are uh, kids teenagers adults I will never understand the mindset of people who do things like that and again Carrie was just someone who just wanted to mind her own business do her own thing and she was bullied for it she was just and trying to survive. yeah exactly and I really felt for her I was totally invested in her character really felt for I mean especially like you know she was this was that one of the happiest moments of her life like mm -hmm. she, she was prom queen she was with a guy she liked and I really thought they did a good job faking it like I, I thought we were like again I really bought that he was in on it too uh, Tom, Tommy and uh, Amy, yeah. Amy Irving's character like I, yeah, I, I really bought that they were in on this too and I'm like wait why are they doing that? I guess they really like had a moment of crisis in terms of when I say moment of crisis I mean like hey, what, what we've done to this person is wrong. Mm -hmm. We're going to change our ways. This is not right. This isn't in character with who we want to become. Those who are trying to do good mm -hmm. also got punished. 
Yeah, and I, yes, I agree. And that I, I agree. Uh, and I was about to say, I re- obviously again, any like Nancy Allen, who by the way, she really showed me range in this film because again, I've the only films I've ever seen her in are RoboCop one, two, and three. I loved her in that. The limited time she's in that film, she's a great actress in those three films. She's a good. Uh, she plays a good guy or woman, whatever. You, in those films, and in this, she's a piece of crap. Um, <laughs> point I'm making is she showed me a lot of range in this because I've never seen her play this type of character of them i'm only used to seeing her play you know the good guy if you will in films but my point being is again while she was an awful human being and so was john travolta they're terrible i hate them they they don't deserve what happened to them well actually maybe they did because they were trying to run her over but maybe that was after what she had caused but again i don't condone physical violence although the mother what she was i mean that was self-defense so in self-defense mode that's a totally different situation point i'm trying to make is I, I don't condone physical violence is the point I'm trying to make. Um, I do feel terrible what happened to everyone else in the gymnasium who had nothing to do with what happened to Carrie, although, again, I really felt for her in that moment. It is a tragedy what happened to everyone in the gymnasium. Even if yeah. they were, even if you were in on it and you were a piece of crap, it's still terrible what happened. Especially it doesn't, that, make, it doesn't yeah. make things right. It doesn't make it right. It's you just know? like, I think this movie did a good job of executing a tale of just telling like what we can, what happens about bullying, you know, because yeah. I've seen horror stories too about kids in school, like who have bullied and taken their own yeah. lives and yep. just, and then, or done the, uh, or the done, same to the opposite. Yeah, just, and it's like, it's so sickening and so sad to yeah. hear these stories and see these stories. And it is like, we put them in films and the reason we feel for them is because we we have seen them like you said you were you were bullied right Mm -hmm. well my younger sister was bullied Mm. i've i was always like that like that person that defended others Mm -hmm. and so my mom would get upset because i was always i was always in fights and then later it became like okay what happened yeah because she realized there's a pattern it was always me defending somebody and um there's this kid in my i was in the chess club (laughs) Oh, I was, yeah, I was in the chess club awesome. and my main boy. opponent was this he was like the white version of Steve Urkel. Okay. <laughs> you know, do you think? Really, he had suspenders, the glasses, he That's had awesome. the like everything, okay? Mm-hmm. And he was the sweetest guy, but he was also the most competitive chess player I've ever mm-hmm. played against. And I, and I remember walking in that room and he's like, Why are you here? And I'm like, I love chess. And you're the person I want to play against. And he was like, Me? You know, and I ended up getting really good because of this guy. Later down the road, uh, we became friends mm-hmm. and nobody knew I was on the chess club. Mm-hmm. And I saw this, like the biggest bully of the school was picking on him, threw him in the locker and like started beating him up. And I jumped in and was like, hey, you know, because I was also on an all boys wrestling team Mm. and won championships, states. And this kid had just joined. Anyways, we got into this big fight and my wrestling coach ended up pulling him aside and said on the mats after school, loser is off the team. And I'm freaking out because I'm like, oh, my God, what if I lose against this guy? Like he's bigger than me. He's this and that. And anyways, long story short. I beat him and my coach was like, I just believed in you. You have the skills. He doesn't. Mm. And he's like, now he's off the team. Anyways, ever since then, all of a sudden throughout the whole school, everybody was like, oh, watch out. We're going to sit Kristen on you, you know? Yeah. And so I kind of like had a rep in school for like throwing down. <laughs> wow. But it was only, to, but it was always protecting others. Yeah. yeah it was no, never no. for myself. Yeah. It was more like it a was superhero more like, thing. Yeah. So. And I was always like, kind of like blocking and I never took the first hit. I always give them first hit. Is that that one? I walk away. Second self defense, or no, second hit. I stand my ground. Third hit, self defense. That's what my grandpa taught me. Yeah, and the the last thing I was gonna say too is no, no, no. You're good. Uh, The last thing I was gonna say is too. uh, I had baseball camps uh, the last few years before COVID that I co-owned and ran, and we had a little issue the second, third year where we had kids that were bullying other kids, Mm -hmm. and we would get complaints like, "Hey, our kids love the camp." But they're getting bullied, so we're going to... What'd gonna, you do with that? We had to tell all the coaches about it and say, we need you to look out for it. And also, I had to address every day. I had to address and make sure mm-hmm. the kids knew bullying will not be tolerated. If we catch any of you bullying, yeah. we're going to send you home. Mm-hmm. And if it happens a second time, you will never be allowed at the camp again. But yeah. it is not okay to bully. Yeah. So we made it a point of contention and, uh, and also making sure the coaches like really look out for it. Mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah, again, 
Good film. I can see totally why this is a classic. Sissy Spacek really was good. awesome. Uh, and again, all the people that we couldn't stand, I thought they did a great job because we couldn't stand them. That's, yep, you did was, your job. Yeah, we didn't they, like they, you. They, did, they, did, they definitely did their job. Brian De Palma, heck of a job directing this film. And, and also the music was really eerie. And, yeah, uh, the music was very yeah, eerie. Yeah, so. I actually really liked this film. No, it was, it was good. I, can, was I totally well get why it's a classic. I'm, so. I love Carrie, and I feel for her. And I it know. Was just, she, it, it, really, it really broke my heart. I know. Haunted, a really haunted ending for her. She really yeah. didn't deserve I mean, nobody no. deserved what happened to them, obviously, <laughs> except maybe the mother. But still, uh, awful. Just awful. Um, yeah. Let us know in the comments section, what did you think of Carrie? <laughs> I'm just curious because I saw that the the remake. Um, I forgot the actress's name from yeah from Kickass. I, I'm we'll blanking on it. the actress's name. I saw it got an extremely low rating. Oh, just curious. Do you guys want us to react to that one? Let us know also. Um, what do you think of this film? And um, what are some other horror films you'd like to see Kristen and myself react to, or any other members of the team? Would love to hear your thoughts. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and smash the like button so you can see. let us know you're enjoying what you're watching. I'm Andrew Flash Gordon and this is Kristen Sebespino. See you guys next time.